Your doctor has recommended the use of aerosol therapy as part of your medical care. Inhaling aerosol droplets of medication is an easy method of getting the drug to the lungs. An important advantage of delivering medications by aerosol is that the drugs go to work very quickly to help relieve the difficulty in breathing you may be experiencing. The medication is contained in a small pressurized canister known as a metered dose inhaler. To assist with the use of your inhaler, a special device known as a spacer or aerosol holding chamber will be used. The brand of spacer you'll be using is called ACE, manufactured by DHD. For the next few minutes, I'd like to discuss the correct use of the ACE with your inhaler so that you receive maximum benefit from its use. The metered dose inhaler, also called MDI, is designed to spray a precise dose of drug each time the canister is actuated. However, the amount of drug that actually reaches your lungs can vary greatly due to a number of factors, such as where you hold the canister when you actuate it, at which point in your breathing cycle you actuate the canister, and how fast you inhale. Use of the ACE can make using your inhaler much easier and help deliver more medication to your lungs. Let's briefly discuss each of these factors and how the spacer will help. Proper positioning of the canister when discharging the drug affects the amount of drug that reaches the lungs. When the canister is actuated, the aerosol particles exit the inhaler at a high speed. If the opening of the inhaler is in the mouth, many of these particles will spray against the mouth or tongue and will not be inhaled. You may notice a strong taste of medication when you use your inhaler in this fashion. When the spacer is used, the particles have time to slow down and become suspended in the chamber. Also, the size of the medication particles shrink as the propellant evaporates. These small particles are better suited for entering and depositing in the lungs. The larger particles that are too big to enter the lungs can rain out inside the chamber rather than in your mouth and throat. At which point in your breathing cycle you actuate the canister is extremely important. Ideally, when using an inhaler by itself, you must actuate the inhaler at the beginning of a deep inhalation. When actuated at the beginning of an inhalation, the aerosol particles are at the front of the breath and will be carried deepest into the lungs. If you actuate the canister in the middle of the breath or during the exhalation, you will receive little or none of the inhaler's dose. Obviously, this requires good technique and coordination to optimize the delivery of the drug. The ACE helps in this situation by holding the dose until you begin to inhale. If you actuate the canister during exhalation, the one-way valve in the mouthpiece of the ACE protects the aerosol cloud in the chamber. Then, when you begin to inhale, the one-way valve opens, allowing the medication to enter your lungs. How fast you inhale has a big effect on the amount of drug reaching your lungs. The air you inhale must change directions many times as it passes from your nose and mouth on its journey to the tiny air sacs of your lungs. If you inhale quickly, aerosol particles may travel too fast to change directions and will crash into the walls of your breathing passages without reaching very far into the lungs. Inhaling slowly is better for aerosol therapy. Slow flow rates allow the particles to be carried deeper into the lungs before settling out. A coaching whistle is included with the ACE to signal if you're inhaling too fast. Now, let's use the ACE to take an aerosol treatment. If the ACE hasn't yet been assembled, remove it from its bag. Place the mouthpiece in the larger end of the ACE. The coaching whistle goes over the opposite end. If your inhaler canister has a plastic mouthpiece, pull the canister from the mouthpiece. You only need the metal canister to use the ACE. Shake the canister vigorously to mix the medication inside. Open the white cap of the ACE and insert the nozzle of the canister into the small hole in the center of the circular area. Place the mouthpiece of the ACE into your mouth. Be sure to place the mouthpiece between your teeth so your teeth are not blocking the aerosol particles. Exhale normally. Then press the canister down to release a puff of drug into the chamber. Now inhale slowly and deeply through your mouth. If you hear the whistle, slow down and breathe more slowly. If you have trouble squeezing the canister with your hand, you may use an alternative method when using the ACE. Place the ACE against a hard surface, such as the top of a table or the top of your leg. Then, using the palm of your hand, push down on the canister to discharge the medication into the chamber. Pick up the ACE, place the mouthpiece in your mouth, and inhale deeply. After you've inhaled as deeply as possible, hold your breath. This gives the aerosol particles deep in your lungs more time to settle out. 
Try to hold your breath for a count of 10. Now relax and exhale. Some individuals find it helpful to exhale against pursed lips. Take a second, slow, deep breath from the ACE. This will help to ensure that you have received as much of the drug dose as possible. Use of an incentive spirometer with the ACE will help to coach you in the slow, deep breathing technique that's important for aerosol delivery. If you're using this system, after actuating the MDI canister, you will inhale slowly and hold the small blue indicator between the arrows. Continue to inhale and raise the large blue piston as far as possible. Remember to hold your breath before exhaling. If your doctor has prescribed more than one puff, wait a minute or two before taking the second puff. When you're ready, repeat the process. One, shake the canister vigorously and insert into the ACE. Two, place the ACE into your mouth and exhale normally. Three, actuate the canister and then inhale slowly and deeply. Four, hold your breath for a count of ten and then exhale normally. Five, wait a minute or two between each puff from the canister. When you have finished with the prescribed number of puffs, rinse your mouth with water to remove any medication that has deposited there. This is particularly important when using inhaled corticosteroids. Do not swallow the rinse water. Frequent cleaning of your ACE will help keep it in good working condition for as long as possible. If you take several medications or use the ACE several times each day, clean it every evening after your last treatment. To clean the ACE, remove the mouthpiece, whistle, and canister holder from the chamber. Wash the mouthpiece adapter in warm, soapy water each day. Rinse with clean water, shake the excess moisture from the mouthpiece, and set aside to dry. Wash the clear ACE chamber by hand in warm, soapy water. With soapy water inside the chamber, agitate the ACE. You may place a small piece of soft cloth inside to help wash the inside surfaces. It's very important that you clean the spray nozzle area well. The best technique is to use the flexible dispenser cap to force the cleaning solution through the spray nozzle. We recommend using this power washing technique to keep the spray nozzle clear of any drug residue. Wash the nozzle by filling the dispenser area with warm, soapy water. The dispenser is where you normally insert your inhaler canister. Close the port cap and press down on the center of the cap several times to force the washing solution through the spray nozzle. Open the cap and rinse the ACE with clean water. Now fill the dispenser area with clean water, close the cap, and press on the center of the cap to force the rinse water through the nozzle. Open the cap, drain, and shake the excess water from the A's. Finally, replace the cap and press on the center of the cap several times to force air through the nozzle. Reopen the cap and allow the A's to dry completely before reuse. It's important that you do not attempt to clean the spray nozzle using a hard pointed object, as this may distort the nozzle and change the performance of the device. You may place the clear ACE chamber on the top rack of your dishwasher for cleaning, although we recommend that you power wash the nozzle by hand before placing it into the dishwasher. When placing in the dishwasher, position the ACE so that the rounded end is down. Also, after washing in the dishwasher, inspect the device to ensure that no food particles have attached themselves to the ACE. Do not place any of the other parts of the ACE in the dishwasher. If necessary, wash the other parts of your ACE system gently by hand with warm soapy water. Rinse with clean water and set aside to dry. Take care not to touch or damage the thin reed in the whistle adapter. Taking good care of your ACE will help prolong the life of the device. Your physician or respiratory care practitioner may provide you with additional instructions on cleaning and disinfecting your equipment. If you have any further questions about your aerosol therapy, be sure to ask your physician or respiratory care practitioner. They want you to receive the best results possible from your treatment. I hope this information has been helpful to you and that you've learned how the use of the ACE can help you receive the most from your medication inhaler. Thanks for watching.